What's up guys, Nate the Old School Otaku here, and rather than continuing on with the um, uh, last couple of weeks, I wanted to get back to something uh, more normal than rather than talking about shows and stuff that you can stream from home during this global pandemic that we're dealing with. And instead, I wanted to get to um, something classic, something that I love to do and have been wanting to do ever since I picked this up at Yomacon last year from Otaku Joe's booth. And what am I talking about? Well, I am talking about good old fashioned Laserdisc unboxing. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So, um, what I have here is a two-box collection of the show Idol Densetsu Eriko. This is a 1989 anime series going 51 episodes in length. It basically is a somewhat autobiographical tale of um, the Japanese idol singer Eriko Tamamura. Um, it's... Uh, it's a pretty cool series. Um, I picked up on it originally uh, because one of the fan subgroups that I follow um, back in the day started uh, fan subbing this anime. And I started getting into it partially because the character designs are very similar to um, uh, character designs that I really enjoy. I mean, it kind of almost kind of looks like Sailor Moon. Um, it, it's definitely up my alley as far as uh, the way it looks and all of that and there's a lot of uh um there's there is um a lot of cellophane on here so i'm sure it's not picking up great uh for the camera right now but we'll get to that here in a minute um so yeah i i kind of got into it unfortunately the um fan servers haven't finished uh fan subbing the whole entire series yet i think they're somewhere in the mid 40s like i said it's about a 51 episode series so it'd be great for them to actually finally finish um, fan subbing this because I would love to sit down and really watch all of it. Unfortunately, I don't do too well at understanding the moon speak or the moon runes, so I'm um, trying to watch this completely um, in uh, Japanese uh, will not be as easy, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> for me. But you know, that, that's perfectly fine. Um, I wanted to get a hold of this because I saw this at Otaku Joe's booth and was like, I had to have it. Uh, because this is definitely right up my uh, right up my alley. It is two boxes, um, two box sets. Uh, box set one is called Solo, uh, Memorial Box Solo, and box set two is Memorial Box Duet. Um, it is uh, box one is seven laser discs, and box two is six laser discs. And this would have set you back a good like eight hundred dollars back in the day if you originally bought it, because box set one is 42,000 yen, and box set two is 36,000 yen. So you're looking at like 40, $420 for the first box set and 360 for the second. That is um, pretty standard pricing for um, Japanese media. Even to this day, it can be relatively expensive. A Blu-ray of a whole entire series can set you back 300, 400 bucks. Uh, so, that's just the way it is. Um, oddly enough, anime is a lot cheaper here in the States um, than it is in Japan. But uh, old school stuff can generally run you quite a bit less. Um, even with import fees and everything, uh, Otaku Joe's got some really good prices. So um, I always am willing to, uh, <laughs> you know, tout what he has. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's try to crack this open. Unfortunately, since we're sitting here at my home office rather than um, anywhere else trying to uh, get a real good view of me unboxing this is going to be a little bit difficult um, in comparison to normal, but um, I will try my best to um, let you guys see. 
And of course, also try my best not to entirely destroy this packaging um, completely, because this is very well packaged from the uh, uh, original seller that Joe gets these from. So I want to try and maintain as much of this as I can and really just cut the, uh, uh, the packaging tape that is used. And it's really not actually packaging tape. It's just standard tape, uh, scotch tape, really. Um, so just trying to kind of cut under here. So I can get her open. Oh no. Now, like I said, this knife is relatively sharp. Um, nah, nothing relative about it, it's very sharp. It's a very, very sharp knife. Uh, so some bits and pieces are not going to come out as well as I would like. But that's okay, I can make do. All right. A combination of a little bit of cutting force here and there. And I'm just using brute strength, and I can, for the most part, get this open. Okay. That's pretty good, I think. Let's see, I should be able to slide this up. Oh, <laughs> Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho! That's actual packing tape right there, folks. <laughs> Let's uh, cut this a little. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. That's the plastic holding the two pieces together and then uh, there is a little bit of tape that is holding the two sets together on top of this so let's go ahead and get these cut <laughs> okay I got that one already it looks like and then finally there we go all right <laughs> down to only the base cellophane. So uh, let's see how best to tackle this. Because um, I would like to be able to put it back into its plastic wrapping uh, when I'm done for storage sake. So let's see, ha. <laughs> Where are we at? Okay. Getting some of the tape off of it. <laughs> Just trying to find a seam. Any seam. That I can utilize. like there is a bunch of tape right here and I think this is where it all kind of comes together yeah that's what it looks like trying to be careful with this Oh, this is always the fun part of all of this. Um. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to actually get her open so I can show you guys the lovely product that's underneath all of this. Because I also want to see. 
Um, cause I mean, one of the things I love about laser discs and especially Japanese laser discs is a lot like old records. It comes with a lot of really cool extra stuff. All right. So I want to get into this thing and I want to see what cool stuff is there. All right. I think I'm getting somewhere with this. I think... I actually am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Just getting somewhere, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Um in somewhere, I think. Where I can just kind of go, yep, there we go. All right. Um, got the little thing here. And then, yeah. So um, here is the um, outer sleeve piece to box set one. And uh, you definitely tell that this has some little bits of wear and tear. I don't believe this is completely new set at all. Um, this is most likely has been somewhat used, but uh, here is the box, uh, complete, open. Um, you can see a little bit of smudges there, but um, that's not that bad. Uh, so yeah, there is books, box number one. So let's, uh, I'm gonna set this one aside here for a second. And let's go ahead and get box two open up real quick here. Uh, so based off of what I saw, it looks like over here is where I actually need to go in order to get this open. So let's give her a shot, shall we? Yep. There it is. getting the first one open much easier to get the second one open because now I know how it's uh, taped together so I can get a good spot off here yeah there we go Ugh, a little bit not quite as easy because it's not as ripped and destroyed but for the most part I can get this back in so here is the um, top card here for that, and then the actual set itself. So here we go. This is the duet box. Um, this one doesn't quite look to have as much uh, smudges and whatnot on it as the first one did, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's definitely got some wear and tear. <laughs> you can kind of see here, but um, it's not actually that bad. Uh, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, that's the duet box. So let's go ahead and take a look at what goody goodies are inside the solo box right here. So um, box opens up and as far as I can tell, it looks like it's an inner case. So it just kind of slides open like this and yep, there we go. So there's that side here. Mm, it smells like old paper and stuff. So inside you've got, um, looks like uh, one, two, three, four, um, seven volumes, uh, two volumes a piece per uh, container. Volume seven is by itself. So pull this out. Here we go. That leaves us with that. And then so we've got um, a couple of different items in here. So we've got... Uh, <laughs> Volume 1 and 2. Uh, volumes 3 and 4. 
volume five and six, and then volume seven. And then on top of that, so we have a couple of different things in here. So looks like it comes with uh, a bunch of uh, promotional artworks in here. So let's take a look at these. Um, oh, yeah, nice little uh, pack here. So, oh yeah, double-sided. Um, this is really cool. Uh, <laughs> There is a lot. Um, so that's what I love about these laser discs, um, these, these box sets and all this stuff. It comes with a lot of really cool extra promotional material um, that you could put up on your wall or do something with. Um, some of these I might want to actually scan in um, if I get a bigger scanner or take some really high res photos of um, <laughs> and uh, you know, do something with that. That's that's really cool. So yeah, a bunch of these um, uh, pieces here that uh, come in this little container. So that's awesome. I love all the extra cool promotional materials that you get with <laughs> these laser discs, and you know, not just laser discs in and of themselves, but these box sets and whatnot. So it also comes with this book lit here that uh when you open it up um it's got a bunch of really cool stuff in here so we've got uh it's got promotional material um character designs and drawings and whatnot uh yeah that's basically what this is is a bunch of character designs drawings and uh pictorials for all the different characters um and then a filmography in the back so um and a little bit of a uh <laughs> advertisement for the duet box um, as well so yeah this kind of comes with your basic sets of character designs and whatnot <laughs> which is really cool um, that is pretty awesome that's a lot of really cool stuff. That's just like the extras that are in the box itself. Um, you know, we're not even to the extras that would be um, in the uh, Laserdisc sets themselves. So let's let's go through each one. So this is volume one and two. Um, opens up into a tri uh, bifold. Um, so you got two discs, uh, one on each side. You got some more character designs and whatnot on the inner fold of this. And then inside you get the discs. So from what I can tell, it looks like those extra pieces in that box set um, is really just the extra stuff that would come in the individual um, sets. Uh, so you kind of get it all together and it's separate. So it's not in with each of these. So it looks like each of these is really just the disc itself um, inside. So here is side one which comes with episode one and two on this side and episodes three and four on the other side. So you get two episodes per, um, four episodes per disc, uh, two episodes per side, which is actually really cool. Like I'm used to seeing one episode per laser disc, um, maybe, you know, t one episode per side type of thing, but you're getting uh, effectively four episodes per disc, which is really cool. Um, so it's just your standard disc. It does have um, some neat artwork on the inner side of it. Um, and whatnot so that's definitely really cool so let's take a look at the rest of these um, not gonna be too much different I assume uh, from what we have seen so far let's get her back in there we go so let's Continue on, shall we? So we got volumes three and four. Um, so this opens up just like the other one did. 
And then we got more promotional material to look at. And then on the inside, uh, looks like, yep, we're just down to your base discs on the inside. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> All right. Get that back in there. And then on to volumes five and six. So this looks like probably beach episodes of some type. I mean, she is an idol, um, so they usually do beach and swimsuit um, pictorials and things like that. It's, you know, idol life, um, unfortunately, is uh, kind of like that. So in here, and yep, once again, we've got just your average discs, and that's all that's on the inside of these, uh, which is fine. Um, if this was individual, I would be a little sad if it was just that. Um, but knowing that all the extra cool stuff comes in with this, um, that's perfectly fine. So there is volumes uh, five and six. So we got eight, 12, or eight, 16, 24. And then volume seven is just on its own. Um, it's not a you know, folding side. It's just the one on its own and get some lovely fan service there um, from Erico, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and then down in here, uh, which gets you up to episode 28. Um, so 28 of a 50, uh, 51 episode series gets you through all of this and some more character designs, uh, guest characters and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot more stuff on here and advertising the next sets as well. So <laughs> that is lots of fun. So yeah, these all just kind of slide in um, into there. And then all of that slides in to the box like this so that they don't fall out. Ooh, there's a lot of airflow going in there. That gets you your, <laughs> your box. Um, so yeah, that's uh, box one that is solo uh, for this. So let's take a look at the duet box next. <clears throat> <Ooh. laughs> Laser discs are heavy, uh, <laughs> folks. So yeah, the, um, the main difference I noticed between uh, box, uh, box one and box two is box one, the overall box is better kept. It does have the smudges along the uh, spine edge here, uh, but overall the box itself isn't as beat up, whereas this box is considerably way more beat up, unfortunately. But it's overall not too horrible. Um, so let's go ahead and take her out. Oof. Oh yeah. Um, so this one comes with um, three volumes, volumes one and two, three and four, five and six, um, and then a little piece of packing, um, pack, packing foam in here to make some extra room, I guess. So let's go ahead and get these out. Um, think, ooh. ooh, not everything came out as easily. I see. This isn't uh, packaged in a um, in a piece of plastic, so you got the extra foam here to um, for that extra space that uh, isn't in this one that was in the other one. So that's that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's okay. And then we've got the actual discs themselves. So let's look at the let's look at the cool extra promotional material that came with it. Um, so we've got. Um, uh, looks like your standard uh, pack-in advertisement for more um, Erico gear and things that you would may want to get. Um, costs, I mean, you can get a t-shirt. Uh, looks like the t-shirt goes for 79, or yeah, 7,980 uh, yen, um, or 78 bucks uh, for that t-shirt. Um, you know, pricing's a little, not quite the same. Uh, the dollar was um, different back then versus the yen and now. So on average nowadays, um, a uh, dollar um, really uh, a, a dollar U.S. is around a thousand or around a hundred uh, yen, um, but it's not quite exactly the same. 
So in here, we don't get necessarily all of that extra promotional material. Looks like we get um, a booklet, booklet once again, and then we got a uh, card, um, an Erico card, which is in this extra uh, card stock. So I can pull this out. It says not for re uh, resale, um, and looks like kind of like a. Uh, credit card of some type it probably has some potential use um, for something it does have a uh, <laughs> does have a barcode on it actually which is kind of neat so you can kind of see what all that is um, so that's that's pretty cool um, actually and it comes with its own little little clear plastic protector so we'll put her back inside and then we'll stick it back inside here so it's all nice and comfy and back in its thing um, so we'll put it back in the container and let's look at the uh, set of info here so we've got some original character design sketches and drawings uh, from the character designer um, looks like an interview of some type with probably the voice actress or actual Erico herself, um, which I don't know if she actually voices herself in this. She may. Um, in in a lot of ways, it's kind of like the AKB 4800 or whatever um, animes that are coming out now where it's talking about idols and it's act it's the I believe it's the actual idols themselves voicing the characters and it's kind of autobiographical. So. It's kind of neat. Um, so there's some articles and stuff in here, information about Erico merchandise and um, other things. Uh, they actually talks about the Prelude, which um, if you'd seen one of my previous um, discussions of uh, videos, I'd actually talked about uh, the Prelude, uh, which is a VHS uh, set of songs uh, from Erico from the from the anime. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. It talks about that exact disc in here, um, here on this page. And then uh, we've got some more um, information about uh, albums. Uh, looks like Eriko's albums herself. Um, and then the anime um, stuff in here as well. Talks about, uh, looks like some um, synopsises for episodes. Also in this listing, some of the other uh, voice actors and whatnot profiles and more filmography and more uh, character sketches and whatnot. So this is kind of cool. So we got the front cover and then the rear cover, and then we go into the actual uh, thing itself. There's that interview. And there's the more information there, and you can see the prelude um, coming. <laughs> coming up right uh, right there kind of talks about it right there you can kind of see that um, so that's kind of cool um, I own a piece of that now um, as well so had to pick that up from Otaku Joe as well when I saw it um, at the event because I believe I picked that up at Yomacon 2019 as well same with this um, I picked this up day one um, and a few other things then I picked that up on like day two or something when I was back through so there we go. Um, yeah, that's 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 neat. Um, these extra promotional materials are kind of neat. I would have liked to have had more of those um, posters like the first box had, but uh, that's okay. Um, not that big of a deal. So we get into volumes one and two of the duet box. Uh, so we got front cover, and like I said, these are bifolds, so they open up. And on the inside... Whoop, you get more promotional material, more character designs and whatnot. And that's what's really cool. That's what I actually enjoy is like all of this extra content and material that comes with these. Just checking the inside to see if this comes with anything else special. Nope, just the disc itself here. Um, once again, uh, four episodes per disc, eight episodes per volume. So this gets up to volume um, episode 36. Yep, episode 36 gets into here. So that's volume one and two of the uh, second box of the duet box. Okay, and then up to volume three and four. <laughs> Yet more panty shots because that was a thing. 
back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, fan service was really just panty shots, um, whereas fan service nowadays tends to be a lot more involved uh, <laughs> and whatnot. So there we go, all of that. And then on the inside, checking to see if there's anything more. Nope, just the disc on this side. And then check the other side, just the disc as well, which is fine. So that's volumes three and four. Get her back in here. And I think this goes, well, if that was 36, this should be episode 44, uh, 42 to 44. Yep. So that's to episode 44. So there are six, seven, eight more episodes left, I think. So volumes five and six, finally, which ends, rounds out the show. Bifold again. And on the inside, yet again, more character designs as well. And then that gets in here to, once again, the discs, uh, 47, 48, and this will be 49, 50, and 51. Yep. The last disc here has only three episodes on it, because episode 51 is a single episode on that side of that disc. So yeah. Overall, I'm looking at the, the quality of the discs, and let's just look here at this last disc. Um, you know, I try to keep this stuff inside as much as possible, um, just because, you know, I'm trying to keep the episodes as well kept as I can. And yeah, like the quality of the disc looks really good. Um, I don't see any issues with, um, with the two sides of the disc really falling out, as it were. And it just overall looks really good. Um, I see no real problems here. Um, most likely, these should play extremely well in my Laserdisc player, I would hope. Uh, and I will probably try them at some point in time. Uh, just not now. I've got um, other things to get to uh, coming up here fairly soon. But, yeah, so that is that is Memorial Box Duet. Um, unfortunately, there's not as much of awesome extra material in this one um, as there was in the other one. All the cool extra pieces of uh, memorabilia were in the other one. This one had the, the card and then the, um, <laughs> the discussions, but that's really about it. So let's go ahead and get her back together again. There we go. Get that on. Get this back on to the top. And there we go. <laughs> that is the duet box. So let's go ahead and set these two up here so they can be seen. Whoops. <laughs> Little, uh, well, the paper things at the top are cool that they're there. Um, have the costs and whatnot on them, but not necessarily required. But here we go. Um, you know, um, that's definitely cool to have this um, all there and available. Uh, so, yeah, tons of fun. Um, <laughs> once again, I got to thank Otaku Joe for um, making the trip to Japan um, that was required to gain a copy of this and bring it over uh, so that I can purchase it from him. Always definitely very, uh, very happy to... Uh, <laughs> support Otaku Joe as much as possible, which um, in this time, um, in this day and age of uh, conventions closing, um, is a lot harder to do because I can't go see him at a con because, well, the cons are closing. So um, getting a chance to like order online uh, through his Facebook page is definitely awesome. If you have a chance to do that and looking for some of this cool stuff, uh, definitely go check out Otaku Joe's web um, or Facebook page and uh, see if, you know, something that he has you would want to pick up. Or if you get a chance to go see him at a convention, I highly encourage it. Um, you may wind up finding me at the booth at the exact same time, looking at all of the cool wares and stuff, um, mainly checking out his Laserdisc collection um, very thoroughly um, in order to see if there's anything I want to pick up and then just making this giant pile of discs that I like to do. Uh, <laughs> Because I do that all the time.
uh, just about any time I get a chance to actually see him at the con. So yeah, this was Legendary Idol Eriko or Idol Densetsu Eriko. Um, really cool 51 episode series um, dealing with a, um, in a way, autobiographical uh, story of um, Eriko, the idol singer, and um, definitely lots of fun. I have enjoyed what I've seen of this series and had a chance to see so far. And I'm glad to actually own a copy of all of this on Laserdisc. Lots of really cool material in here. Uh, definitely awesome. If you see this and are interested in getting into Laserdisc collecting, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions or concerns related to um, Laserdisc collecting and all of that, let me know. I am willing to assist and help out as much as I can because uh, you can get a lot of really cool stuff from Laserdisc. But you know, one thing to note is Laserdisc collecting requires a lot of space. I mean, obviously... This box of laser discs definitely takes up a lot more space than you know VHSs in some regards, uh, but definitely a ton of more space than a Blu-ray. I mean, this here collection one of uh, Galaxy Express three nine. This here has thirty nine episodes, nearly as many episodes as these two boxes, and to just kind of look at the difference in size um you get a lot more free space with this and definitely higher quality because this has been upscaled to 1080p where this is uh 480p effectively and it's analog slash digital content and all of that so uh laser discs generally have a similar um video quality to vhs but are slightly higher uh but also was the first um uh, first media to ever have digital audio, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, they had subtitles, so you could have bilingual in the uh, U.S., which is kind of cool. Um, basically used closed captioning to give you subtitles, uh, which is definitely kind of cool. So you could, a, you know, depending on how it was made, a lot of U.S. laser discs would be um, multilingual. So the, you'd buy the English, and the first tra Eng uh, English audio track, the analog audio track, may be the Japanese. Um, and then you get the subtitles through closed captioning, and then the digital audio track would be the English audio track. So you could, they could have both a digital track, a analog track, and then you can get subtitles through closed captioning. So it was definitely kind of cool um, the way laser discs work. And if you got a good old CRT TV, you can actually see it in its original glory. It won't look as bad trying to put this on a flat screen TV, um, but I do it all the time myself. So. There is definitely that. Um, <laughs> either way, uh, I, I love laser disc collecting, and hopefully um, I have inspired you to potentially get into it as well. Um, uh, good luck, uh, <laughs> as it were, uh, with your laser disc collecting, and hopefully we don't become too much of the way of rivals in trying to get a hold of stuff, <laughs> as it were. But either way, um, I know Otaku Joe actually has like multiple copies of a lot of things that I own, so don't have to worry about that. Um, Laserdisc was very popular in Japan, so um, it's getting a little bit harder to come by in some regards, but not necessarily um, as hard to come by as you may think. There are just very few dealers here in the U.S. that actually sell Laserdiscs. You may have better luck actually going to Japan yourself, um, which is a trip I would love to do at some point in time, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Either way, though, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you listen to me up to this point and you want to see more of my content and this is your first time tuning in, thank you for sitting with me up to this point. Hopefully I've been very informative and uh, you want to check out some more of my content. So feel free to go check out the rest. Um, take a look at my channel um, and see if there might be something more that you like. Check out one of the other videos that will pop up here in the end card and get you, uh, you know, an idea of what I have to offer. And if you do enjoy it and want to see more, I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll put you front row and center whenever I release something new and obviously you may want to also hit the notification bell in order to be notified whenever I release something new when my new releases come out so uh, feel free to go ahead and do that if you want to interact with me more feel free to do so in the comment section I do read those and respond uh, when I'm able and then you can also hit me up on Twitter on Tumblr on Facebook all of those are linked in the uh, description below so feel free to go check that out um, as well as a direct link to Otaku Joe's uh, Facebook page um, you know, if you want to go check that out, maybe you want to pick up some of his wares because he sells not just Laserdiscs, he sells DVDs, he sells Blu-rays, he sells other bits and pieces of memorabilia, CDs, figures, um, a whole ton of stuff. And uh, 
definitely cool to get into, um, especially if you're into some of the older stuff like I am, because that's right up his alley as well. So <laughs> all of that would be really cool. Um, you know, maybe you want to go consider hitting me up on Patreon. I would appreciate anything that you could uh, potentially kick over that way. I haven't had a whole lot of time to get my Patreon up to snuff, and it's something I am planning on working on. But if you can't, that's perfectly fine. Sharing my content through Twitter, Facebook, all of that other stuff, watching to the end, liking, subscribing, all of that definitely helps me out. And um, in the end, that's all that really matters. I'm passionate about all of this stuff. I want to show off as much of this as I can. So that's definitely cool. And I've got quite a few laser discs that I can go in depth about this as well, but I definitely wanted to start off with the new stuff that I picked up. Um, so yeah, either way though, guys, thank you for tuning in. I am Nate, the old school otaku, signing off. Dun, 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 da -da! Dun <laughs> <laughs>